So would you like to design a new uh, UX design using the Bedonian? In this step-by-step -step tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can get started. So first of all, you want to understand what's actually the difference between the UX and the UI. So both of them are the interaction between a design of an application. But specifically speaking about UX, this is for interaction only. So we can see different, for example, what frames we can see, architect information, user research, scenarios. So all the interaction and the design is going to be uh, speaking about the UX, all the interaction. Speaking about the UI, we are talking about the virtual design, about the colors, the graphic design, the layout, the typography. So if you wanted to type, you wanted to use Medjourney so we can start to design our actual application. And then later we can see the UX. So that's true up into what kind of the actual application you want to use for um, your creation of your app in my case I'm using Figma now Figma is a great place to can start totally for free so I'm going to leave you a link down below in the description if you want to start creating something like totally uh, actually for free so here as you can see I wanted to do into the actual Figma I wanted to get started with a new design file and I have now created something like this I have the welcome to the best food advisor ever so this is the part where I wanted to see how it's going to be looking the actual interaction between my iPhone and all the elements that I have added here. So how does the Medjourney works inside the Figma so we can start making some designs of an application. So we want to have some visual, which is some design and movement here into our app so we can have like more professionalism here into the Medjourney. If you actually don't know what Medjourney is, it's an amazing place where you can build from text into text description into something that almost whatever you wanted to. So once again, you want to go into the Medjourney.com. Once you are in here, what you want to do is to go into the joint beta mode or go into the sign in depending of if you already have an account or if you don't. Uh, it's going to be just really, really easy, guys. You need to have, of course, a Discord account in order to continue. And once you have that, you need to authorize the access from Medjourney into your account so you can have something totally for free. And now, as you can see, I am ready now into my actual account. So as you can see, I already have just like a few creations based on what I've just asked into Medjourney. So what I want to do is to open the actual Discord. So we go and open Discord channel. So as you can see, I'm now inside the Discord. And then what I wanted to do is to implement the Medjourney inside the actual Discord so I can start working here. So if you don't know how to actually do this, I'm going to be showing you how to do this really, really quick so we can do exactly the actual process, having some designs and added those into our actual artificial intelligence stuff. So uh, first of all, what I want to do is to go into the Medjourney. I'm going to go into manage my soft or you can go here. I'm going to reload the page and I'm going to go for view plans. So if you head down into the joint to the medium boat, this one is going to be sending us into try to accept the invitation to join in Medjourney. If you hit into accept invite, this one's going to be sending us into the Discord, and now we're now going to be able to enter Medjourney which I think is really great. But you don't have to worry about all these actual uh, looking here. I'm going to hit into close. And then what you want to do is to focus into create an actual server. So I'm going to go into add a server, create my own for me and my friends. And here I want to go for text press. Um, let's go for apps. Here I want to go into create. And then we're actually great. So let's go back now into our actual Medjourney. Here you want to locate the one that says newbies, wherever newbies you wanted to. Let's take this one. I look out for the Medjourney bot. And here I want to go into the add to server. Add to server. I want to choose my actual channel. I hit into continue. So I can go into my actual app. And it says glad you're here, Medjourney bot, general 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 so there we go so now what i want to do is to go into the fast forward slash and type into the info if you go into the info you're going to be seeing all the information about your account how you have remaining minutes if you wanted to use more uh let's say just click into your description so you can get more and more advanced tools if i'm going back into my figma let's say that i'm creating something related into some uh i don't know maybe advisor of food just like a review of the best foods in on your country whatever let's say that i wanted to create some design of an actual uh border so i'm going to go here prompt let's go for a 3d render of a burger let's go for cheese burger 
let's go for high definition, high quality. Uh, for you, I this up this sign hit into the enter mark and now in my case uh, my free trial has come to an end but fortunately I have created that before so what I want to do is to open my actual image inside the actual framed so here it is the actual image that was generated from Metoni. as you can see it was generated something really really great I'm going to open a file explorer. I'm going to go into the downloads. I'm going to be showing you what does the Medjoni create for me. Actually, as you can see, it actually looks really great. All the uh, texture, the tree re render, all of the elements are actually looking great. I think that I would love to have more details in the upper side, but this is like just the details. But once you have something like this, what you want to do is what to choose to delete the background and then you can add it into your apps or you can use that for an actual frame. As you can see, I opened this image and I used that for an actual frame. So if you wanted to continue doing that here into the majority, let's say that I wanted to just do something like this and here is this fill I want to change the color for something a little bit more darker than that let's say this one and I'm gonna send this into the bring tint to the back like this so there we go so let's go into the layers there we go so um, now what I want to do is to try to change the actual UX uh, design inside the Figma. So we have now created the design and then we wanted to make the actual interaction between the actual application. If you hit into play, uh, it's going to be popping up a new section where the proto on the left is going to be like making the actual design of your actual application. And as you can see, this is how it's going to be looking. So here's the actual interaction. Of course, I didn't do actually anything. But if you wanted to get started with actual a template, you don't want to know how to actually get started here into the Figma. The great stuff is that we can use templates if you don't know how to get started. So Metzioni plays in a specific, like really, really interesting place. It's a bit about the UI design. And here, what you want to do is to try to be as much descriptive as you can. So I'm going to hit into the fast forward slash info, fast time remaining and lifetime usage. So if you want to check it out in the description, go into the fast forward slash subscribe. So what I can totally suggest to you is to try to create some stuff into some free artificial intelligence image generator and then you can try to make a perfection inside the Metoni so you can start designing your own stuff and then later you can check it out the actual UI at this side. And of course you can use Metoni to start creating some let's say like a design of the UX and this is how it's going to be looking. This is something that was generated for and by Metoni. You just took this as a template and then you implement that inside Figma and you want to create your own custom elements as we just did before speaking about the burger so you can just track stuff and do that like so on and on with that being said guys we have now reached into the very end of the video but just in case you have any questions you can leave it down below in the comment section so don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more great tools about this actual met thank you so much for watching the video once again see you next time